Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ajay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a balanced binary search tree uh, by using list of sorted integers. So first of all, what is balanced binary search tree? It's nothing but the total height of the left subtree and the total height of the right subtree must be equal or the difference must not be greater than one. So for example, if I'm having a binary search tree like this, so the height of the right subtree is one, the right height of the left subtree and the right subtree are equal, so it is balanced. Or if the height of the uh, left subtree is two and the height of the right subtree is one, so the difference is a two minus one, it's one. So it is again a balanced subtree. But if it is this thing, if it is like this thing, then the height of the left subtree is three and the right subtree is one, so it is not a balanced subtree. So let's see how we can create a balanced binary search tree by using list of sorted integers. So, so if I'm given uh, this list of sorted integers, so how we can create a BST out of this? So I think uh, binary search tree is nothing but all the left side node data must be left than the root node and the right side uh, node data must be greater than the root node so uh, if i'm given this list of integers so to start creating a bst we can actually pick the middle element so here the middle element is 4 so pick the element 4 create a node for it and once you create this by using recursion now use this left sub array and use right sub array and if you go to the left sub array uh, again do the same thing in the left sub array like here if you see the middle element is 2 so as in the left node of this root node to 2 and if you take the uh, again i mean after you create a node 2 by using this middle element in this sub array again you have two sub arrays one and three so if you take again the left one it is having one so create one and if you take the other one left in this sub array two as a middle node is three so create three and once this left sub array is done now go to right sub array so here you are having 6 as the middle element now create 6 uh, node 4 uh, as the uh, right node for the root node and after creating a 6 we have again 2 sub arrays so create 5 as the left node for the 6 and create 7 as a right node for the uh, node 6 so this is how you can create a binary search tree uh, in a balanced way so this this can be done this can be done by using recursion so let me code and show you how exactly it works so i'm coding in c sharp so i'm have a, i'm having a console application here so let me start coding it so first of all uh, for creating uh, for a binary search tree i want to create a node the class node so each node in each node has a left node and the right node and the data so let me create the properties node left and node right and the other property uh, need the data okay so to make things simple let, uh, let me create a constructor uh, we for creating a new node always by passing the data equal to underscore data okay 
so this is my class node which has a left sub left node right node and the data has the properties so for each node in a binary search tree we have these properties so now let me write a method to create balanced uh, BST. So here I want to pass a collection of array, collection of integers, and start and the intent of that array. Okay. So, uh, so first let me create a node root is equal to node. So before that, before that, so I will, I will start creating, I mean, the root node now, I mean, for the example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the root node will be 4. So for getting 4, we, have, we can get the middle element. So for getting the middle element of this array, we can simply use uh, start plus n by 2. If we do that, we will get the middle index. That way, we will get we can get the middle element of the array. So for getting the middle element, I'm using uh, start plus n divided by 2. So this I will get the mid element and I will create the root node by using this mid index like array of mid. Okay. So once I am done creating the root node, I need the left left node and the right node for the root node. So for doing that root dot left is equal to Oh, let me do this as node. Okay. So let me do the recursion. So now the middle element, I am done creating the root node by using the middle element of this array with the start index and the uh, end index. So after creating the middle element, I have to create the left node, right? So for creating the left node, now the left side array is 1, 2, 3 and the right side array is 5, 6, 7. So I need to create the left node of this for this node by using uh, this sub array. So this sub array is again middle element is 2. So I can use this 2 as the left node of this 4 and 6 as the right node of this 4. So let me, so once I create, once I'm done creating the uh, root node as 4 then the recursion next recursion should be this sub array 1 2 3 so for doing that i'll pass the array again and the start now will be the same but the end will be bit minus 1 so that will give me the left array uh, from 4 and root same way root dot right will be mid plus one and then so this will give me the right sub array uh, from four so that way i will get each time the left and right sub arrays middle element and i will be creating new nodes and i will be assigning it to the root node so by using this recursion we can make it uh create make we can create this balance bsd very easily okay so to stop the recursion the, we need some condition to stop the uh, this recursion right so for the if uh, start is less than and then return null so if start is greater than so that means if start is greater than and that means we don't have any elements in the array so no need for us to do any more so for that reason i'm returning null else it will come to this and we will get the middle element of that array and we will create that uh, uh, node by using the mid of that array 
and the left node will be again for the left node we'll call the same function we'll do use recursion by passing the start and mid minus one which is nothing but this is the left sub array and mid plus one and end will be the right sub array of each uh, when we do each time when for each recursion and finally i will return the root node so that's different so let me uh, run and check whether it's working as expected so let me get a zero as a start and a dot length minus one as the end so that will give if the start and end will be the complete array for the first time and let me store this and this okay so let me put a break on here and Check the root node. So the root node is having data as 4, and if you go to the left node of that, we have the data as 2. And if you go to the left node, we have the data as 1, and the right node, the data as 3. And again, if you go to the right, we have the data as 6 for root node 4. Root node 4. So again, if you go to the right node, we have 6 for 4, and left node 5 for 6, right node 7 for 6. So that is how we can get a simple uh, binary search tree by using list of sorted integers using this recursion. So, uh, so let let us see the execution process. So first, it will create this element four, and for this four, we'll pass the left sub array, and it will create the node two, and then after it will create the node one and once we don't have any elements it will return null so it will again come and create the node 3 after the i mean once node 3 is created we don't have any more elements so it will return null so it will go and create the uh, node 6 and then node 5 and if you don't have any elements it will return null so it will again go and create room, node 7 so that's how the complete binary search tree is created so uh, i will also post the link for the code in the description of this video so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel friends thank you